Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. BMW month continues. Except for today where we're not actually checking out a new BMW. This week in the festival playlist, you can unlock two brand new cars. The BMW XI, which is like BMW's all electric SUV. Spoiler alert, it actually has a really cool body kit and we're gonna try it out tomorrow. Wait, did I say XI? I meant IX. Dyslexia do be like that. Today, we're gonna check out this thing, the Rivian R1T. Before we go and do that, quick look at the Fortsathon shop. Cool. I wasted my time. Let's go and unlock the Rivian. All you have to do to unlock the Rivian is just complete this event. You don't need to go and get any points. You don't need to go and do any like speed traps or trials or series. Just like that, we've completed the race. P1. It only took us four minutes to complete the map. There were only six people in it. Just like that, the Rivian R1T has been added to the garage. Very nice. This is the Rivian R1T from 2022. I might get some hate for this, but the world's best pickup truck. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to tell you why I think that, but right out of the gate, it's got 835 horsepower, 900 foot pounds of torque. We're going to start off with the car bone stock. We'll come back in a second and check out all of the customization. I am going to keep fingers crossed that the developers didn't ruin this car. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the Rivian. And the first one is this. Oh, zero to 60 in about three seconds. Unless there's a Ford F450 in front of you, which is a little bit slower off the line. The Rivian R1T is kind of like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Immediately, it's this off-roading inspired pickup truck that has 800 horsepower, making it the world's fastest pickup truck. Rivian didn't actually intend to build this with the focus on performance. Rivian built this to kind of be a do anything, go anywhere pickup truck. That gear tunnel through the back of the pickup truck is designed as like a little cargo hold for like muddy gear. Rivian will actually sell you an accessory that you could put a full cooker in there. It has two little cooktops that plug into the pickup truck and you can go camping with it. Rivian didn't stop there either because in the bed of the pickup truck is a tire inflator. It's actually got a whole bunch of other really cool features. You know how like roll Royce, their like famous thing is selling you an umbrella in like the interior of the door. Rivian took that but said an umbrella, eh, that's cool, but we can do better. They gave it a flashlight, which is just so cool. I would honestly have a very hard time choosing between this thing and my Ford Raptor. The Ford Raptor is just cool because it's like a big beastly off-roading thing that's kind of just like brutal and aggressive, but this thing's faster. They've both got their own uses and I really like them. Long story short, I love the Rivian and I, I think, I think, I think it might be the world's best pickup truck. In recent times, Forza Horizon 5 has ruined off-roaders. They have limited their tire options. They have limited their suspension options. Please don't let me down, developers. Tires and wheels. Tire compounds? <gasps> they didn't ruin the Rivian! Twitch chat is telling me to look at the suspension. It's half a W. This is a V. <laughs> Bone stock, it's at the bottom of A-class. Speaking of A-class, if you think your car's A-class, go buy some of the new stickers on the AR-12 sticker store. Alright, now that the blatant product plugs out, of the way. We can upgrade the engine or the motor that's in it already. We can upgrade that to build a thousand one hundred horsepower. The power literally goes off the graph and it actually stays in A-class, but I don't think that's actually what I want to focus on. The problem with vehicles nowadays is they're just filled up with so much technology. Like, all of the things I was giving the Rivian praise for kind of ruins it in terms of racing. So, uh, weight reduction. <laughs> a thousand 700 pounds of weight reduction. <laughs> That'll make a massive difference. Very nice. Our arrow and appearance, we can get a big front bash bar on there. And then, uh, hey, 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 hey. uh, no. And then for our tires, I wonder if I could actually get all uh, rally tires puts us up into S1. Off-road race tires, though, keep us in A-class. I think for sheer cool factor, I'm just gonna go for big, chunky tires. I think our tire size, oh, 
we actually get free tire size upgrades, so we'll go for that. We have the exact same horsepower, but we're nearly 2,000 pounds lighter now. I've never actually seen the Rivian colors before, so we got blue, yellow. The silver's very nice. The black's a little boring. I really like the red. Why don't we just yoink an Audi paint color? <laughs> we are going Audi primer. How good is this Rivian at the top of A-Class? The only thing I'm actually worried about is my gear ratio. Uh, gear ratio? Singular? Since this thing only has one gear, you're kind of left with a choice of if you want acceleration or if you want top speed. And I think most builds will just inevitably go for like some awkward middle ground, which I think is why we're stalling out around 100 miles an hour and the other cars are just kind of running away. Not gonna lie, that's why cars like the Porsche Taycan work so well since they actually have two gears. I must say, it's a lot nicer to drive that now that it weighs 2,000 pounds less. Like, it's way better in the corners, but it just, it lacks that oomph that you kind of need. Oh my God. Yo, look at him. Look at the interior. That looks so weird. Yeah, that was not a great race. Straight up, the fact that it only has one gear is just gonna ruin this thing in terms of performance. What if we take it to a drag strip? Is that a Spotify logo? Are the developers allowed to put that in the game? Before we create any international incidents, let's just move on. We are gonna say goodbye to our big off-road tires and toss on drag tires. I'm also gonna give it over a thousand horsepower. I think this is gonna be good. I don't know what this thing is gonna do in terms of quarter mile, but eight seconds would be nice, but it's probably gonna be around nine or ten, to be honest. Go, 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 go. I think that was like a 9.3. 9.3 9 on the quarter mile. Shorten the gears a tiny little bit. Beautiful. Come on. The suspension feels fine, honestly. Like, we're not losing any time because of our suspension, honestly. Maybe, if so, it's a tiny little bit. But we go a little faster, a little faster, a 9.2 with better gears. I'm just gonna try making it a little bit more rear wheel drive just to see if that changes anything. Give me a 9.2. I am proving that I know how to tune a drag car. You're about to witness my greatness. Come on, come on, Rivian. Make it to the line. Gear ratios are perfect. Cross the line at 146. We've done off-roading. We've done drag racing. How about on-road racing? I think the only thing I'm gonna do is just give it full racing slicks. Wait, do I actually want to give it aero to make it better? Oh, wait, that's non-adjustable. Uh-oh. <laughs> how about rear aero? That's also non-adjustable. You know how Elon Musk put, like, that Tesla Roadster into space? I'm about to be the first person to put a Rivian into space because I'm gonna have such a big car crash. You know how usually when we're trying a car out our results like the results we're looking for is basically first or the car sucks i think the results we're looking for for this car is anything but last place i think that'll be an achievement in itself oh and there are my awkward gear ratios i must say it's actually really nice that this thing has grippy tires like this the tires are fantastic. Not good. Yo, it's so good in the corners. The Rivian is actually way better than I thought it would be. Break, 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 break. Oh my days. <laughs> I think the fact that we weigh less than probably all of the other pickup trucks in this race and the fact that we've got cracked acceleration and mega grippy tires, it actually, look at it. Look at the turning. It turns instantly. I'm kind of just weaving on the straight. I love the Rivian R1T baby what a fantastic vehicle all right here we go no brakes no brakes no brakes how did i not die no no brakes ah there's the understeer apparently the tires are only so grippy i was not expecting that result even a little bit. I would imagine with some proper tuning, like tuning the suspension and stuff, you'd be able to make it handle even nicer. That was awesome. Way better than I was expecting. I think now we've reached the portion of the video where we're gonna do the most challenging thing we've done so far. For two reasons. I would usually put drift suspension on at this point. There is no drift suspension. I would also usually make it rear wheel drive. I cannot. I guess I'm gonna be kind of forced into an all wheel drive, send it YOLO and 
and hope for the best sort of tune. I'm gonna have to make my own drift suspension. Developers, please, something, something. Oh, it's unrealistic to expect drift suspension on an off-roader. It's also unrealistic to drive a Rivian off a cliff at 150 miles an hour and continue driving. That's why we play Forza Horizon. Drift suspension, I think, is the more realistic of those two options. You've never seen a car that looks so goddamn good before. And into the drift zone. I would officially like to start a new movement, which includes respecting drift trucks. I don't know, maybe that's weird, but I like it. Okay. Give me drift suspension! If I had drift suspension, I would have been able to hold that angle the entire time. Just so we're all on the same page. All right, thanks for watching. That's the Rivian R1T.